Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning my messy house with you and doing a whole house clean with me. I'll be showing you how I get a clean house through cleaning in the morning, in the afternoon, and at nighttime. Sometimes it takes an all day cleaning routine to get the job all the way done. I'm also gonna be sharing one of the ways that I make cleaning fun. So don't click out of this video if you wanna see what that is. And give this video a thumbs up if you're ready for some cleaning motivation. gone on a trip we actually went to Nashville Tennessee if you follow me on Instagram I'm sure that you saw my crazy adventure with Jessica from Jesse Christine used to be keep calm and clean we actually met for the first time ever finally we have texted every week almost every day for the last two and a half years since starting our YouTube channels and we finally met in person because my husband and I went to Nashville Tennessee all that to say I had so much stuff that I needed to get cleaned up and put away. Um, these were just some of my packing cubes that I used for the trip and so I was just putting these all away and then I wanted to completely empty out all of my suitcases and put everything back in the garage and just get everything like done, done, done. So that's what I was doing here. As you guys know, I'm a mom of three and there is literally no time to sit down and focus on learning or self-development or self-help type of stuff unless I am intentional about making it happen. I spend so much time scrolling on social media, it makes me feel like I don't have enough time to read a book. So I found this new app called Blinkist and it just takes nonfiction books and condenses them down to just 15 minutes so you can either read them or listen to them super easily and get the main gist of the book. So I have been listening to Benjamin Spall's morning routine recently and have been loving it. And I've been using it when I'm putting my makeup on in the morning, which totally gets me motivated for the day or when I'm cleaning, which also helps me. Normally when I put on makeup, or when I clean, I'm either talking on Marco Polo or listening to a YouTube video or watching like a little Netflix show, but this is such an easy thing to swap out that is good for my brain and good for my soul to be learning and challenging myself in new ways. The first 100 people to go to my link are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off if you want the full membership and the seven day trial is completely free so you can cancel at any time during that period and I'll make sure and have it all linked in the description box below and I just wanted to thank Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. Here's my daughter Fiona finishing up her McDonald's lunch. I know, McDonald's, right? But whatever, I'm just keeping it real. It was a Sunday and we had gone to church and the boys were napping, but Fiona was up with me and she was finishing up her lunch. So as you can see, our table has a lot of stains on it right now. So if you don't know, if, you, if you're new here, um, I got this table from a thrift store. It used to be kind of like a yellowish wood color. It's pretty old. Um, so we sanded it down and we painted it 
and we've actually painted it a couple of times now because the top part of it gets um, like the coating comes off so we have to kind of like keep it up every I don't know year or so so we we need to go in and sand down the top part and then repaint it and then um, what is it called not stain it but you put like that coating on it and I actually like having it like that I know it sounds kind of funny because it's just one more thing to do but if I had like a really nice table I would probably have to be on my kids more about coloring and you know if something leaks through on the paper but anyways um, so I obviously have moved on to cleaning the windows but I just wanted to share with you kind of why they're staining on the table and what we're gonna do about it I would love to hear in the comments below um, what kind of dining room table you have. I recently went to the Dollar Tree and got these new dusters and a bunch of different cleaning products, so that's what I'm going to be using a lot today. So Fiona is five. She actually just graduated from kindergarten. So that was her little thing that they had at her graduation with the picture of her and her name and all that stuff. Um, does anybody out there have a kindergarten graduate this year who's going into first grade? I can't believe that I have a first grader. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. It's crazy to me at least. I'm like, I'm not old enough to have a first grader, <laughs> but I am. <laughs> As you can see, I have the Whole30 book sitting right there. Today, as I'm doing this voiceover, I started the Whole30. It's my first day today. So far, so good. Um, let me know down in the comments if any of you have done the Whole30 and what your results were. So Fiona and I had watched a show about germs this day <laughs> and so it kind of got me in the mood to go through and use these wipes that kill bacteria um, on a lot of the surfaces that we touch constantly. I don't do this often enough at all, especially considering I have young kids. So I wanted to make sure and go through and do that and I had also gotten these wipes from the Dollar Tree. So as I showed you guys in my last cleaning video, the cleaning marathon, which I'll make sure and have linked here in the iCards and in the description, 
if you haven't seen it, but I am just gonna be making my shower cleaning DIY hack from the Dollar Tree. This thing is amazing. If you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure and have that one linked too as well. So I picked up a few things from the Dollar Tree as I mentioned, but I needed to get new shower cleaners and then um, the Dawn dish soap. I already had the vinegar at my house, so um, and then I just put this in a cleaning bottle that I had from the Dollar Tree. So you just do one part vinegar, one part Dawn dish soap. I always use the blue one. I don't know if it makes a difference, but that's what I do. So as you can see, I was going in and I just sprayed it down because I feel like the bottom of it was pretty dirty. And then I did my door and I just let it sit for 20 minutes. And in a second, right here, you're gonna see me say 20 minutes. And now I'm just gonna go in and start cleaning the toilet. So I do a DIY floor cleaner and it's actually something that I got from one of you guys. One of my subscribers mentioned this and it's just hot water, vinegar, and essential oils. I usually use the lemon essential oils but that was downstairs and I didn't want to go all the way downstairs so I just got my lime essential oils and it smelled so fantastic and fresh. I love citrus smells especially when I'm cleaning so that's what I used on my floor at this point and I I really really love using that mixture so whoever you are out there the subscriber who told me to use this thank you because this is my go-to now I don't even use my other floor cleaners that I have lately I just use this little DIY fantastic mixture So now that it's been 20 minutes, I'm just going in and seriously, the dirt just melts right off the floor. So if you need to get some serious cleaning done or if you've fallen behind on cleaning your showers, this is such a good and thorough an effective way to clean your shower. Um, I absolutely love it. Like I said, I'll link the video below so that you can kind of have like a step-by-step -step of how I do it.
show you my favorite, favorite fabric softener that I've been using lately. It's Gain and it is plant-based and it is the Orange Blossom Vanilla scent. And I'm telling you, I mean, I know everybody has their own types of scents that they like, but this one smells so good. If you need a new fabric softener, I highly recommend using that one. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a little bit of my vacuum. I think I told you in the past that my dad told me I need to show my subscribers this because I showed him the other day and he was just fascinated by this. So it is bagless, so it's super easy to empty. I just emptied it all out in the trash as you saw a second ago. So now I'm just gonna be showing you how I pop open the shark rocket and it's so easy, it's like ridiculous. Anyway, so I just use that little small end to get in all of these little buttonholes because crumbs or I don't even know, sand gets in these things and it does not come out. Even when I shake it out, it doesn't fully come out. So I try to go in here every once in a while and do that. I also use this in my kids' cup holder in their car seats in the car. I can use that in all kinds of different areas. So I love it. I'm obsessed with my vacuum. I always tell you guys this. The only thing that would make that vacuum better is if it didn't have a cord, which maybe one day I will get a cordless vacuum, but that day is not today. <laughs> Hashtag vacuum lines on fleek. So hit the red subscribe button if you're new here. I would love for you to join this community. Click the bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you can be one of the first ones to watch when my videos go up. I am always in the comments in that first hour, so I'd love to connect with you and chat with you when the video first goes live. Don't forget to check out some of my favorite cleaning videos that I have. I'll have them linked right here on the screen, or if you want to have an easy way to subscribe, just click the little circle that has my face on it. <laughs>